Charlie. Hello, Kate. Uh, I'm Ringo, and I've, I'm standing in for Joe. He's stepped away for a few minutes. <coughs> excuse me, excuse me. Uh, don't mind my friend, uh, Ringo. Uh, good morning to you all. We're in, in Sudbury in Suffolk. We're in a toy store, and we're examining the very interesting phenomenon of why sales in the game sector are down, but individual board games, the traditional board games, are doing very well. Thank you very much. Games like Monopoly, of course. That's that 3D version there. And, uh, of course, Scrabble. With us now are the two giants of the industry, Philip, you're from Mattel, who makes morning. Scrabble, and we have Grant from Hasbro, who make uh, Mop Monopoly. Sales are up for you guys over last year, interestingly enough. Yes, that's right. I think people are returning to the, the good games, the games that they've known since their childhood. Scrabble's a game that can be played in all sorts of ways, as a family game, as a social game, and um, also tournaments, championships, etc. So it's got a wide appeal. And, and what's with the appeal? How come people are going back to a very traditional game that's been around for decades? I think it's got something for everybody. It's got a mathematical element, it's got a, a, uh, a literary element, and it, it's great fun, and it, the whole family get. And there's an play. element of pedantry as well, isn't there? <laughs> Not when I play. I don't know about you, Joe, but right, personally, okay. no. Grant, uh, thank you for joining us. You, uh, you from the Copper Hasbro we make Monopoly. It, again, it's tweaked, it, it's tweaked the game down the decades as well and created... We have the, the kind of a 3D version, our Monopoly City. Um, how come sales are up over the last year, given the fact that overall sales in, in recession are down? Yeah, so what we're seeing is uh, quite an interesting phenomenon where families are getting together for a family game night. So in the current climate, families are getting together, they're picking up a great board game, which does reflect fantastic value for money. So picking up a property like uh, Monopoly, for example, that you remember from your heritage, you can buy the game that you know and love, but there are also more relevant versions of the game for today's kids as they're growing up. So, Is there a danger, do you think, Grant, that games like Monopoly will turn very placid people into Rupert Murdoch's or uh, Robert Maxwell's overnight? I think that's the exciting thing. I think that's what is at the heart and soul of Monopoly and why it's, you know, proved the test of time. So um, that will always be there. And actually, it's a, a families enjoy being competitive and get them around the table, you know, kids, mums, grandmas, nieces. It levels the playing field so everyone gets to play on the, at the same level. The other interesting thing is, of course, that Monopoly came out in the Depression era at the end of the 20s and early 30s. And here we are now in the middle of a really nasty recession. Yeah, I mean, it is amazing how things come around, but you're right, in a recession year, um, we are seeing a great uplift. Um, Monopoly for the month of July, for example, sales are up about 50%. So people are definitely returning, and they're returning to the brands they know and love. Okay, now, it is, apart from Monopoly, though, you guys do other games, uh, uh, which are also doing quite well, I understand. Yes, again, it's the, it's the classic. So the Cluedo, the Battleship, Twister, Connect4, all of these games, games are great and they're still in store. So we really encourage families to go out, set yourselves up a family game night and have some great quality fun at home. OK, I'm going to come back to Philip. Uh, Philip from Mattel, you guys, you don't just do Scrabble. No, what we what do else are you uh, Pictionary, which is a, a favourite, perennial favourite. And we have the Uno card game, uh, which is really uh, selling well and many other games as well. And do you guys do video games? Because you guys, of course, compete with, you know, the uh, PSPs and the Wii of this world. We do. No, we don't do video games. No, we're, we're specialists. Right. And are you going to be tweaking it I into the future? Uh, we've, we've brought out a number of different versions of uh, Scrabble. We've had a pink Scrabble, which uh, supported breast cancer, and um, we've had Simpsons Scrabble as well. And we'll con continue to do those, but it's, it's the, the solid classical game that people go back to. OK, do you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to ask you, to, Grant, bear with us now. Um, I'm going to try and play a nice little move here. I'm going to put N-E-W in position there. Can you see that? Uh, that looks like a triple word score, Philip. What, what, what is that going to do for me? Yeah, well, you've made a pretty good move there, Joe. You've uh, pluralised television and um, you've put news onto a triple. That's going to score you 39 points, which is pretty good for this time of the morning. Oh, thank you very much. Well, well, stay with us, guys. We'll, we'll talk to you guys later on in the morning. And, and we'll stay with us here in Sudbury when we're examining the phenomenon of how, how come board games, the traditional board games, are doing very well when the overall sales are down. Yeah, Joe, jo I think Joe's immersing himself far too much there this morning. Are you having fun, Joe? I'm actually like a kid in a toy shop, strangely enough. I'm having a lot of fun. I haven't been in a toy store, I'd say, for 30 years. <laughs> I didn't like to say. But anyway, we should look forward to what you come up with next. Thank you very much indeed for the time being. <laughs>